everyone, it's Erica here from Your Chic is Showing. I know it's been a while since you've heard from me or from YCS. We've had a ton, a ton of tons of stuff going on. And that's really why I'm here sharing this video with you guys today. One thing that I'm going to be doing that is a little bit different on the blog is a series called Entrepreneurship Unedited. And um, this series was inspired by two things. The first was a series that a few of my friends did over the Lent season called Lent Unfiltered. And they would share raw moments from their everyday life and the things that were going on and happening in their lives. And they would be funny moments and happy moments and sad moments, but they were real moments and they were unfiltered moments. And they had thoughts and feelings and reactions and responses that I often have. And I think that so much of our lives were spent sort of putting on a facade and having people want, wanting people to look at us a certain way that we don't live our lives in an unfiltered, unedited way. And the other reason I was inspired to do this was from a mastermind leadership course that I just completed about a month ago. And we spent so much time talking about authentic leadership and having authentic relationships and being an authentic person. And I think that sometimes, especially as an entrepreneurship, an entrepreneur, we're not always authentic. We don't want people to see us struggle. We don't want them to know that we're having a bad day or a bad moment or a bad period in our business. Um, you know, we just want, always want people to see us as a picture of success and someone who's thriving and, you know, who's a boss and making things happen. But the truth is being a small business owner, being a large business owner, or just being a business owner is difficult and it's tough. And you have good days and you have bad days. And uh, there's a lot that I've learned in the past two years as a small business owner that I wish someone had told me before I signed up to do this. I don't think it would have stopped me from signing up to do it, but it would have been nice to have had a little bit of warning. And so that's what really entrepreneurship unedited is about. It's about sharing thoughts and feelings and situations that I've encountered as a small business owner, sharing lessons that I've learned, the good and especially the bad, uh, you know, and about answering questions. I'm always getting text messages or emails or Facebook comments asking about being a business owner and what do you think about this and how did you go about that? And, you know, people just have questions and I want to answer those questions because I want everyone to be successful and I can't help anyone be successful if I keep everything that I've learned to myself. So I'm going to be sharing, you know, this new series, Entrepreneurship Unedited, which is outside of fashion and style and lifestyle. Um, it won't be taking over the blog, but it'll be up a couple times a month. Just sort of a live video journal and blog entry that's talking about what I'm going through. And so the first entry in this Entrepreneurship Unedited series is all about the decision that I made after two years to do a complete reorganization of my business and the rebranding process that I'm going through, which is frightening. It is terrifying. I am getting rid of a piece of business that has always been an integral part of the business. It's been a big part of the business that makes me a lot of money. It's what a lot of people know me as is um, an event planner and, you know, and putting on events and, you know, helping with fashion shows and parties. And I've been doing that, you know, for two years. And that's really where I got the money to start my business and, you know, where I've gotten the leg up in the business. And that's what people call YCS for. And, um, I am just not passionate about it. It doesn't excite me anymore. It doesn't make me happy. It feels like a job. It feels like work. And um, and that's not the side of the business that I'm excited about. And so I made a really tough decision to get rid of that and completely rebrand and refocus my business only on personal styling and personal shopping, which is um, frightening to say the least. And so in the first entry that you'll read below, I talk a bit about why I made the decision and how I came to come to the decision and what the rebranding process is looking like and it's been slow going um, and that's deliberate. I didn't want to make any rush decisions and uh, snap judgment, but it's been a really, really, really interesting journey and I think that as you guys continue to see the entrepreneurship unedited posts, you'll get a glimpse into the journey of being an entrepreneur and I know that there's a ton of you guys out there that have questions about starting your own business and what do you do and how do you get started and paperwork and all sorts of things. And so I want to encourage everyone to email me, um, you know, text us, 
Instagram us, tweet us, Facebook us, however you want to get in touch with the YCS team to ask us about these questions. Use the hashtag entrepreneurship unedited. And, you know, let's have a really honest, straightforward, unedited, unfiltered, authentic conversation about what it means to be an entrepreneur. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the series and YCS will be back with our regular fashion style uh, blog post that everyone knows and loves so much and has been asking me about. Uh, so I look forward to getting those back rocking and rolling and sharing the new branding with you guys as we roll it out. Uh, thanks and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.